Hello, hello, it's me, Toby from Morningwood, and for today's video, we're going to make some headset stands. And these headset stands are made from walnut. So let's backtrack a bit. The planks are 1 by 2.5 inches wide, and I cut them on the miter saw to their specific lengths, and then I set the table saw to 37 and a half degrees. That was just a random angle, you could go 35, 30, whatever you want. The important thing here is that we are making compound angles. What are compound angles? Well, angles that are compound. I'll get back at that, but for now, let's talk about how we're doing the build. As you can see, I am cutting 37.5 degrees using a sled. That means I'm cutting horizontally on a certain orientation. Next, I'm going to cut using a tenoning jig. But we're not gonna make tenons. We are going to change the orientation of our cut, but with the same angle. We will not change the angle of the blade, but we are going to change the orientation of our cut. This will make the compound angles, and this will give us the leaning forward So effect. I cut the head and the top part of the body on the sled. As you can see, the top part is at 37.5 degrees. Now I'm cutting the bottom part vertically without changing the angle of the blade, but the angle of our cut of the miter has changed. I don't know the exact angle of that cut, but I do not need to know since I'm cutting everything on the same angle. Now I'm cutting the bottom part vertically also. So to make a bit sense of it, I'm going to glue the mitered cut with the same angles to each other. The ones I cut vertically will be glued together and the ones I cut on the sled will be glued together. This will make a bit sense during assembly, so stay tuned. So since this is a compound angle, you really don't need to decipher or to know what angle I'm cutting on the vertical side because each cut will just complement each other. Now that I've cut all my miters, I'm going to put a taper because I don't want this to be plain straight. I'm going to make a taper from the top to the body. I'm not going to taper the base. It will remain the same. I'm going to put a taper here on the head to the body. Half inch both sides. So it will just have that slimmer look. It will not look chunky, big, robust. This is my tapering jig specifically for this headset stand. Since all the parts of the headset stand are small, I went ahead making its own tapering jig. This will help with my production and workflow. Oh, and another note, always cut the miters first before tapering. Why you might ask? Because when you taper your wood, you are going to lose the straight edge where your miters will reference their cut. If you taper first, you're going to have a compound miter which will not look straight. Yeah, not straight at all. So as you can see, the body is a bit slimmer now and a very nice look. The head will have a more tapered angle. It will be much more slimmer than the body and magically it will look so minimalist. So clean, so slick, you get it. So there after these cuts, everything should line up as you can see, beautiful. Now we are going to glue up these pieces. I'm not going to use any clamps. I'm going to use packaging tape. I'm putting tape on each miter joint and this will keep it secure. Some of you might complain that it is a weak type of clamping or a weak glue joint since it's end grain to end grain. But I assure you, you don't need much strength carrying headsets. I did a drop test later on so be the judge. That and I'm using Pioneer's wood glue which is very durable. So using tapes to secure this is plenty much already. Do as you do with your normal glue up, spread the glue, and then we fold it together. As you can see, the joints come together seamlessly because I joined the same angles. And as you can see, there is the forward leaning effect which is nice. It adds another layer to its look as well as the tapered effect. We are going to let this cure overnight and then I'm going to show you the drop test. Now that we're at this point, a quick survey. How many of you do this technique as well using tapes, no clamps? Let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, I'm going to clean my glue. Those of you who don't clean your glue, shame. Shame, shame. Just clean your glue. So one more reason why I clean the glue in this particular build because it is so hard to remove the dried up glue on those angles. It is a very tight spot and the glue will cure 
very hard so clean it right away while it is still liquid here is the drop test strength test durability test and judge for yourself i'm not going to put excessive force because i don't see carrying a headset would need like a hundred pounds of weight a little more just to check so yeah see it's tough ha huh. losers our next favorite step is sanding who doesn't love sanding i hate sanding <laughs> so a quick rundown on the sanding i start with 120 grit to remove all the excess materials and the rough spots i jump to 180 to remove the marks left by the 120 grit and finally 400 to smoothen things out i lost the clip where i was applying finish but i applied boiled linseed oil it's a natural oil to let the natural colors of the walnut shine so that's it thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed like this video if you liked it subscribe if i've earned it share this with your friends see you in the next one bye